of your fight go wow. 760 and up, you know that's life goals wow. If your credit too low, walking on the tight rope So yo, credit up, wow. you get your credit wow. up yeah. Credit wow. up, wow. you get your credit wow. up wow. Credit wow. up Can you touch on this, this, this family play that I need to run in detail with my people um, and let me know, man. What what is it called? I forget the name of it. Share it. Share with the people, man. Um, <laughs> he said, "Tell him." Um, <laughs> so so every single year I do what I call a family legacy meeting. So I bring my cousins, my aunts, my brothers, my wife, her brother. I bring everybody to the table. We talk about financial literacy, right? So we talk about credit. We talk about buying real estate. But I have some stipulations before they even to show up to the meeting, right? Because we want the serious, not the curious, right? So number one, you got to make sure that you have your credit report pulled up before you even show up to the meeting, and then we make sure everybody get their LLC. Now, when you come to the meeting, we also do a family susu. So we put $200 up each person, and then every month we take the pot and we invest towards somebody else's financial development. So one month we actually invested to get my dad his private money certification so that he could broker all the real estate deals that we do. We don't want to go pay nobody else. We want to keep it in-house, right? Next month we invest to get my brother his life insurance um, certification. So now he set up all the life insurance policies for Right. This month we're gonna fix my aunt credit. This month we're gonna fix cousin credit, right? And we just circle the money over and that's how we started to get this ball rolling. And then one one time I had when I had the first meeting, my cousin he opened up his credit profile. He had an eight hundred credit score, didn't even know it. It's just crazy. He just mm-hmm. worked forty hours a week, pay his bills, responsible person. I put him on my LLC on the operating agreement, got him forty five thousand dollars in twenty four hours. So he like, yo, let's do that, let's do that again. I said, hold on, hold on. I want to make you a believer, right? Mm-hmm. So I had a property. It was a single family property. And all I had to do was come to the table with $8,000 because I had a hard money loan that covered the rest of the loan, but that my dad actually brokered. So he got paid on that deal as well. But we took the $8,000 off that credit card from my cousin that we got him. And then we used that as a down payment on that property. And we also took $30,000 off that car because we had to float the construction. So when you are investing in real estate, you got to put money up to start the construction. The lender gives it back to you. Mm-hmm. So that same property that we purchased, put it back on the market, flipped it, made $120,000 profit. Paid my cousin back, paid his cards, and then gave him 20%, right? But at that point, that's everybody like, no, no, nah, this, is, this is a real thing. This, is, this yeah. is a serious thing. All right, cool. Now we take the money and we open up life insurance policies for everybody because we want to make sure that in the event that anybody goes, we got things set for five to seven generations, and we set up the proper policies or like infinite banking so that we could use that as our bank, and we still get paid multiple times. So this is the entire blueprint. I built $20 million in family wealth. So between mm-hmm. me, my brothers, um, my cousins, $20 million in family wealth, and then we got the trust set up where that controls the life insurance policies, and then we dictate how the money is going to be distributed. If I go tomorrow, God forbid, we still have a layout of, all right, who gets X amount of money, what we investing in, what you doing is all laid out. And um, that's truly wealth. Because for me, I think about getting rich is just for you. Getting wealthy, that's for generations. You know what I'm saying? This is a different type of conversation. 